that stop in the Wiesman World Cup Tour for Skeleton. They moved to Winterberg, Germany. Women's Skeleton Run 2, Marion Tace from Germany. Doesn't have a great start, so she really struggles at the top of this short 1300 meter track. But she has speed on the bottom and she has the best time of the run, the best speed. She puts herself in a metal position. Mary Teach does what she does, fast on the bottom part of the track. But she has to wait and see if she has a chance to win a medal. Sarah Reed of Canada, she's in third place at the end of the first run. This Canadian, diminutive in size, great form in the Belton's curve. On the bottom, losing time back to Marion Thies, but she has enough in the bank from the first run. And she best Thies time overall in two runs. She's guaranteed at least a bronze medal. Now here's a, a race between the well Pikes Pace and Elizabeth Yarnold of Great Britain. Pikes Pace problems on the bottom part of the track. Flying great speed through the Velton's curve, but 13-14 makes mistakes, both runs, but still has the second best time of the run. She's first overall. Whether or not that'll be a gold medal, it's up to Elizabeth Yarnold of Great Britain. Elizabeth Yarnold, the World Cup leader, wearing the yellow jersey with her family, parents on hand, the track playing James Bond music. Tease and Pice have had battles all year long, but on this day, bottom part of the track, she's perfect. Best time of the run, best time overall, she wins, going away by a half second. Elizabeth Yardle from Great Britain wins the first event of 2014 of the Beastman World Cup Tour. Pike is pace second. Sarah Reed of Canada is in third. Here's our World Cup standings. Yardle is still the leader with three events to go for FIBT TV. I'm John Moore.